Hi, everybody. So one last little kind of treasure trove for today. This is my third video. Um, what we're going to do here is a very quick little simple cup. And believe it or not, this one actually can be used as a cup, not long term because it is paper and it will eventually soak through and come out of the cup. Um, but I used to use this as a kid in a volleyball practice when somebody would forget their water bottle. They'd come to me because they'd know I'd have a notebook in my backpack and I'd grab out a sheet of paper and give them a cup to use at the fountain. Um, so what I have here is just a basic computer paper. And what I'm going to do here is the very first thing I need to do is make a square. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this corner and I'm going to roll it over and I'm going to make this short side touch this long side and make it flush. So I'm going to roll that into place. And when it looks about right, then I'm going to hold this one side and I'm going to take my thumb into the middle and I'm going to make a nice sharp fold in both directions. Um, I'm going to also going to take this little tiny bit and if you need to, if you are somewhere where you don't have a pair of scissors, you can fold it back and just kind of tuck it underneath. You don't have to do that, though. I'm going to remove this little piece. If you don't want to, you can always tuck it in. But we want to leave this side able to be opened. So once I have this little triangle thing, I'm going to take this and I'm going to fold this in half. Basically, I want to find out where the bottom is and I want to be able to see that line. So when I see that in half, what I'm going to do to make this is basically, it's kind of like a paper snowflake. If you do a true paper snowflake fold, we're going to take this and I'm going to flop this over this direction. The only difference between this and a paper snowflake is that a paper snowflake will go right to the middle of this. And it's kind of like putting your arms over your shoulders. You don't want them on your waist. But if you imagine putting a hand on each shoulder and how your arms cross your body, that's kind of how you would do a paper snowflake and do it that way. This one is a little bit different in that I want this line to touch. So I'm gonna take this corner right there and I'm gonna to touch it to the outside. That will leave a little bit of a gap right there. And that's perfectly fine. This is just a cup. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna to touch it over to the other side. And so this is my little guy right here. Now this does not look like a cup at all, but if you're gonna take this for a cup, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up here, split this, this one is going to come forward to catch those arms and keep them in place. This one you're going to get out of what your way by pushing it down on the other side. So this is your cup. So if I pop this open, this actually will hold water for a few uses. I would say probably about six. You're not going to be able to hold it for an hour, um, but it is enough to get a quick drink at a fountain if you don't have a cup with you. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know. But this is basically what you've got going on. If you have any questions or any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comments.